Where in the world am I? This isn't where I left my chariot. Hmm. Oh, oh, hey, there you are. Come on over here. I'll bring you up there and, uh... Welcome to Machinima 2022.1. Got a lot of new features inside in store for you. So why don't you hang out, watch this video, and I'll talk to you about them. Oh, and don't forget to watch the Create 2022.1 video, because all that stuff's in here too. Let's get started. And this is Machinima 2022.1. As a reminder, Machinima is a place to try out all of your creative ideas. It's packed with assets from top developers to get you started, such as MechWarrior 5, Squad, Bannerlord 2, and we've got more coming very soon. As a reminder, you can access this through the content browser under NVIDIA, Assets, Machinima. However, we've also added a nice asset browser here. That'll help you find these a little quicker. Now let's quickly go over the interface in Machinima 2022.1. Under the Animation tab, we have your Audio Deface Toolbox, which helps you set up any of your Audio Deface caches inside of Machinima. We have your Constraints, a new AIM constraint, and our Transform and Pin constraints. This is where also where you'll be able to find your Pose Tracker, which we'll talk about later, and your new Retargeting window. In this release of 2022.1 for Machinima, we've added the Pose Tracker from the Maxime AR SDK. And we allow you to both stream live video from your webcam, but also capture animation and movement from select movie files. This integrates fully with our new retargeting system. Just watch this real quick. I have my sole asset. I'm able to select its skeleton, and then I'm able to quickly auto-retarget I got my nice little green checkbox. I found a movie file. I can hit play, recalibrate my center point, and check it out. I've got live animation in my scene from this video I've captured. What's even cooler, if I pause this here, is we have the ability to record that straight to an anim clip. So that way you can go ahead and record these frames and put it right into Sequencer. Now that I've finished recording, I can open up my stage tree, drop my character into Sequencer and make a sequence, and drop that anim clip. And now I'm able to sequence it like any other anim clip. It's a very quick and effective way to make cheap and easy mocap. We've also improved both the look and the usability of Sequencer in this release. We've added the ability to easily split clips, one-click scaling, trimming for both holds and trimming your clip length, and also the ability to easily add loops. And finally, we've added the ability to visualize waveforms right here in the Sequencer. An issue that is always hard with a sequencer tool is the ability to take animations from one actor with one skeleton and put it on another actor that has an entirely different skeleton. With the animation retargeter, we've done what we could to make this as easy as possible. Previously, this emote clapping would have only worked on the squad character as seen here. But now, with animation retargeting, I can very easily have both characters play this animation. We've added the general way to keyframe all USD attributes through two extensions, the timeline or the curve editor. In this example, you'll see through the curve editor, we've been able to animate a traditional bouncing ball. These keys can be set from the property panel with the right click set key and can be adjusted in either the curve editor or the timeline. The new aim constraint in Machinima will help you do all sorts of fun things. Like have your camera follow a specific target in the scene. It can also be used to have really anything aim at another target. With this camera targeted directly at this plane, we can sit here and set up various different angles that we want to look from and maintain that view. Making animating our cameras a snap. We also added a browser for all the reshades that come with Machinima. This way, you get a little bit better view of what you're going to click on before you try to apply it. 
Some of these also come with transitions, which can be pretty fun to play with. Yeah, I like that one. Well, that's it. Thank you for taking a look at the features of Machinima 2022.1. We hope you enjoy all the new upgrades, and we hope to see you in the Omniverse. <laughs>